So when I try to move against something like a wall, this problem happens. See, the character jitters. So I want to see how to solve that problem now. Okay, so basically the character's um, animation is determined by the velocity, right? Um, yeah let's open the script um, I need to script the character animation controller script okay here and I set the velocity like this but let's see what happens at this point this this I'm printing okay I don't need idea I can wait at the moment right now let's see how the values changes with time okay wait I think I'm printing something else also What's this nine something value? How? How come? How come I receive something like ten? Okay, it's zero now. And at some point I put 9. Why is that? Yeah. Why did that happen? I think I just that didn't happen I mistake it for 0.9 right anyway so now here we have this problem see I'm getting 4 and 0 and 4 and 0 so that's the issue that's why this character jitters so how to solve this problem so does that mean I can't rely on the velocity I get from the character? Let's go to character moment and the velocity I return here where is the yeah this one rigid body velocity that's what I am returning here so maybe um, I think I should return in something else oh yeah well I'm actually here I'm actually changing the velocity value directly so maybe I should not do that uh, uh, yeah I think I should do some kind of a lap in here right uh, let's see I'll cut this part vector 3 lap 
and the original value is rigid body dot velocity and the target value is this one and then I'll add time dot delta time I guess we need to use this smooth speed I guess we need some multiplier here but wait a minute well let's just check what happens without having adding a multiplier well looks like nothing is happening yeah, I definitely need a multiplier here. For now, I'll add 100. Maybe it's too much, but let's see. No, that's not going to solve the issue. Okay, then. What am I going to do? Yeah, I'll revert this change because that didn't work as expected. Maybe. Yeah, all right. Let's um, create another variable private vector three. I'll call it actual velocity right and also I'm gonna need another variable private vector 3 character position no, previous character position, the character position in the previous frame actually. So, yeah, I'll just use it like Charpos, even, even though it doesn't make any sense. Equals transform dot position. And in the update, I'll set no actual velocity equals mm -mm -mm, transform dot position minus chapos divided by time dot delta time and let's return that here instead of rigid body velocity I'll return actual velocity right now let's see if we see any changes. Oh, sorry. After this step, I should set chapus as transform dot position. Otherwise, it will remain as zero always. Okay, we see some jerk in here but this problem is solved now we need to smooth it out yeah so to make it smooth let's use 
love good old fashioned love vector 3 dot love actual velocity and this is the target velocity and here time what else is missing float t time dot delta time into 100 let's say okay maybe 10 right now it is not jerking anymore even though i am trying to walk against a wall yeah that's good now okay and i'll stop this episode at this point so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and also i'll release the project files for this uh, for this project through the patron page so if you are a patron you can freely access them and this episode is sponsored by these this generous patrons thank you very much for the support you are giving me